Uh, Bill, same same question for you. Uh, you you're, you're MIDI's bureau chief. Uh, you, you're looking at a lot of countries. What what's on your checklist of things? Things going forward, you mean? Yes, things going forward for the next tw 24, 48 hours. <laughs> well, I think it just can they can they keep the streets calm in Cairo, or does this really devolve? Uh, how does the Muslim Brotherhood react? Those are really the two big questions over the next 24 hours. Mm. Now, w one of the things we know in the financial markets is we're, we're seeing oil spike up because the Suez Canal is still absolutely vital for the right. movement of oil from, from the Gulf, um, right. in, particularly in, in, into, into Europe. Is that an overblown worry, do you think? I mean, is Yeah, again, I think this comes back to the role of the military, which is, is that that military is really a rock-solid institution, and the bedrock of, of Egyptian security is really in place as long as that military is there and able to manage th these different political forces swirling around it. But it's able to protect the, the Suez, I think, and, and to, probably even to keep order. It's a, it's, but it's certainly a tumultuous situation. Tumultuous situation. Hopefully peace will break out. We, we all hope for that and uh, no bloodshed. Thank you very much, Bill Spindle. Thank you. Um, Mideast Bureau Chief actually here in New York for the timing. And thank you, Jerry Simon, Nancy Messier, Nancy of the Atlantic Council. I'm Simon Constable, and this was a News Hub special. We will have continuing coverage of the crisis in Egypt on WSJ.com and WSJ Live. And also check out our streaming stories here as well with a focus on Egypt. Have a great week. Have a great July 4th. <laughs>